In this video, I'm going to have a go at sending an invoice using the Easy As Email system. Easy As Email system works for the same way for um, invoices, quotes, purchase orders, etc. Now, I'm going to create a new one because I want to show you something. I've set up my invoice. Let's say that's all I want in my invoice. Naturally, I have the option to print a PDF if I want to. I can print it to the printer. I can print it to a Word document. In this case, I'm wanting to send this via email. Now, traditionally, you would have to print it to a PDF and then go back to your normal email program and attach the PDF to an email and send it to your client. Now, you can still wish to do that. You can do that if you wish, guys. This email facility that's provided of Easy As is something you can use if you choose to. It is not a you have to use it. It's use it if you want to. If it helps you, great. If it doesn't, don't use it. In a previous video, we discussed all the settings. So you need to go back to those videos to discuss settings if something goes wrong. I'm going to click the email PDF. Now what happens is, the moment I click that, Easy As goes away and creates a PDF. It does that automatically. The moment it's created a PDF, it brings up the Easy As Emailer. And if you look down here, you will see it's automatically added the invoice as an attachment to the email. So now, I can send to this person here, this email, it's already attached. I can put in whatever I want in here. Okay. Whatever. See, I've just scribbled some, something in there. So whatever you send here, um, naturally I might put invoice, invoice number two. So I've put in a subject. I've, I've written a quick message to this person here. And now that's it. I can send my email. Now if I send that, it's going to deliver that to this person. And it's going to deliver this as an attachment. message sent. Now, what I failed to put out before, which I will point out now though, is see now here we see the 5th of April 2013. I'm just going to exit this for a second. This appeared underneath. The moment that email gets sent and is completed, it will put a date underneath there for you. And I'm going to show you if I was to create another email, another invoice, you will see that there's no date. See that? So the moment you send an invoice or send a quote or send a purchase order, the moment it says it's sent from you, it, it everything went through, um, it will put that date here. So you can come back in two weeks later or whatever and say, when did I send the invoice? Oh, I sent it on that date. Naturally, these emails are not being saved in Easy As. We didn't want the system getting bogged down with hundreds of different emails because that's not what Easy As is about. If you want copies of your emails that you send to clients, I'm suggesting that you set up your system accordingly. I'm just going to press this again as if I'm sending another email. See here, we see BCC. That is for blank carbon copy. If you look at most email programs, they have a CC and a BCC. If you put another person's email address in here, it means that if I sent this invoice, this person and this person are going to receive it. Naturally, if I put an email address in here, this person, this person, this person are going to receive it. Sounds pretty logical. But here's the difference. If I was sending this to, to Joe, which was the guy that I sent it to before, and I had an email in here to this guy, and I sent this email, both these people would receive it. And what would happen is Joe would be able to see that this person also got his email also got his attachment, also got the same thing. So in a lot of cases, you, that's not going to happen, is it? You're not going to send an invoice to two different companies. It's just not going to occur. But let's say you want a copy of that email. You don't want to be putting your private email address in the CC. You want to hide that. Say you've got a completely separate inbox, which at Easy As, we have numerous easy e email addresses. Um, no one gets to see them because they're private. 
the internal email boxes that are used by us. Now, we would put and send that to as a blank carbon copy, a BCC. So now, if I send Joe an email, or I sent this invoice to Joe, he doesn't actually see this. When his invoice, when his email comes to, all he sees is that this particular email was sent to him only. However, it also gets sent to this person, or to whatever email addresses are in here, they will also receive a copy, and Joe will be none the wiser. So why? what's the value of doing that? It means that you get a copy. Let's remember, Easy As is not here to replace your email program. It's not what it's about. This is to help to speed up for those clients who want to use this sort of facility. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. But if you want to use it, it speeds it up. But in a lot of cases, you might write someone an email, but you might leave them a little message down in this in this area here. You might leave a little message to message for them, or there might be something in relation to the invoice that you've made a comment in this section here that's in addition to the invoice. And you want to be, keep a record of that. Now, Easy As doesn't keep a record of any of that. So if you send it out, it's too late, it's gone. But if you're sending it, but so what I suggest you do is create a separate email account. That anything sent from the email system from Easy As goes to that separate email account. So you will receive it through your normal email program and you've got a copy of it. Or you send it to your main business run. Whatever, is, whatever you use, whatever you your business runs, it's really up to you. The BCC, instead of having to type that in all the time, Here's something I want to point out. If you jump in here, if I click on your business name, one click, it brings up the business names profile, okay? Which, as we know, is exactly the same as clicking setup and clicking change your business names. It brings this up. Now, if I click at it, I go down to this box here. This box here is everything to do with the email section. So if I change this here now, just so that you can see, Well, I'm just going to change that so you get to see what this is. So the BCC, that's where it's going to go to, and the from email address is going to go here. So we've set up a couple of defaults just to make sending emails a lot easier and a lot quicker. So if I click on, here do we send this email again, you'll notice that automatically it's going to fill up the from box and the BCC according to whatever settings I've preset. That saves a lot of time because you don't want to be duplicating this junk and you don't want to be having to type all this in all the time. So now you're free to just to enter your subject, enter your message, click send and away you go.